It's a very rare situation where, where a narcotic or an opioid is the only option. That rare situation is often a terminal cancer diagnosis. The difficulty is when we have people who are in the middle life and have non-cancer pain, that's when we start seeing high risk associated with the use of an opioid. Of course, addiction and death are the greatest risks, but for chronic pain patients, there's also a chance their pain could worsen on opioids. There's actually immense evidence to suggest that the exposure to a narcotic actually increases your pain level. That's why doctors are increasingly exploring alternative methods of pain management, from steroid injections that reduce pain and inflammation to procedures like radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation, it is actually going in there with a needle and burning off a teeny tiny nerve that gives sensation to the joints. And so the pain relief can last anywhere from six to 12 months. There's also spinal cord stimulation, which works wonders for some patients. There is a battery in my hip, okay, and what that battery does, it has two leads that are, that he implanted along my spine. They cut all the, the brain waves to my, to my brain. They cut all the pain impulses to my brain. So, um, I didn't have any feel, you know, I didn't have any pains. It has absolutely changed my life. You might not expect Western doctors to employ Eastern medicine, but some are finding great success with techniques like acupuncture. I was um, doing acupuncture this past week for a patient that came in with um, a pain as a 10. And after four sessions, he was relating that his pain was ranging from a two to a four. So it's dramatic. And some studies have shown promising results from certain non-opioid drugs not traditionally used for pain. Such as tricyclic antidepressants, uh, anti-seizure drugs, antidepressants. These are all medications that have a role in treating pain as well. The list goes on, but there's no guarantee any one method will work for a particular patient. Some, unfortunately, try many alternatives to no avail. That is when carefully managed opioids come into play.